So, I lost my job, but some cool stuff has happened. Things have worked out for the best. It's been a while since we've done a story time, so stay tuned and I'll tell you exactly what went down. So part of what we do in this channel, it's not just fly clothes, cologne, etc. You know, I really want to focus on men's mental health too. I talked about that earlier this year, that's one of the goals. And I felt that this story time was important and at least hopefully can shed some light on how I'm feeling to either let you guys know you're not alone in how you feel and just try to, you know, get it out there because it's been a, a, a rough couple months for me. Uh, and for those of you that don't know, I worked construction, um, worked at the same job for the last 15 years. The uh, owner of the business decided to retire and close the business. So therefore that left yours truly without a job. Um, it's the first time I've been uh, without work uh, or not knowing I had a job to go back to. I was very, very apprehensive. At first I was just like, I'll get out there, try to find a job. Shouldn't be easy, or shouldn't be hard. Oh, well, come to find out it wasn't easy. And you know, a lot of the things that I've learned, or, or I did learn in high school about how to apply for a job, how to do this, that's kind of out the window now. You know, with us being in the age of modern technology, you know, everything is usually done online, which is a great convenience, but in my opinion, it can be a great hindrance too because kind of like how we talked about uh, AI a couple weeks ago, you can see that video here, uh, that there's some benefits to it. That's pretty much the, how applications are selected now. A big one is ZipRecruiter, which I was using. Um, they go through AI to select uh, applications and resumes and present them to the people who are looking to hire people. And that's not always the best thing, uh, in my opinion. Um, I say this because sometimes the resume doesn't tell you like about a person's work ethic. You know, you just see their history and, and you know what they went through in school, what they studied and learned. But I mean, that doesn't mean that they can't be a good employee or that they don't learn quickly and such. But that's what I was struggling with and also to my personal opinion just by seeing that that is not easy. Um, I think, you know, there has to be some kind of a balance between actually meeting people. You know, that's kind of what we talk about with like social media, like the de detriment of social media is that, you know, people aren't actually interacting anymore. And in this case, I think that does hurt uh, the job application process. But uh, getting back to me, who we're talking about me, <laughs> um, I was struggling. I fell into a depression. Uh, I hope you guys didn't see it, but I mean, it, it, it's possible if you guys did see it over the past few videos. Um, I was having trouble sleeping. I was having trouble uh, just functioning. It just felt, it felt really like demeaning and sad. You know, like here I did something, was a, my opinion, was a great employee for so many years. And while I, I harbor no ill will towards my previous employer, uh, you know, he worked hard in his life, all his life to get to the position that he wanted to stop and he did. That's fine, that's fair. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, and, and it just, it, it for me, just being like, you know, I, I put so much here and then now it's a unique job um, that not a lot of people would or other employers that are looking to hire would understand. And it was tough. I, I gotta admit, I, like I said, I wasn't sleeping. Uh, I was just stressed out, like wondering, like, what am I going to do? You know, I was a little, had a little bit of a cushion for a few months, but I'm like, what's gonna happen after that? And I was just stressed. Um, 
I had some really good friends that were right there checking in on me. I have to thank all of you guys. You guys know who you are. Uh, checking in, making sure I was okay, telling me, you know, that it's gonna turn around. And I thank you so much for it because I probably would have lost my mind if it wasn't for you guys uh, that were there for me um, and, and trying to help me find work. So I really felt uh, very down, like I, like I said. Um, but something popped up, and if you guys follow me on social media, you, you can probably guess what I'm, I'm getting to. Uh, I found this picture. And this was from my time in the Menfluential Conference. This is when I went to the last one back in 2020, before I even dreamt of starting this channel. And I remembered how I felt when I took that picture. It's amazing what pictures can do, right? You can look at the picture and remember where you were mentally and physically when you took it. It was a selfie, me in a suit, I'm, you know. Um, but I remember taking that picture and how I felt. At the time, I was in Atlanta. I was coming off a major depression. Uh, you know, a worse one than what I was feeling with losing the job. If you guys follow us on our podcast, the Well-Rounded Dude podcast, if you go to episode one, The Origin of the Well-Rounded Dude, you and listen to it, you'll understand where I was at that point. <laughs> I swear, I'm not depressed all the time, I promise. Um, you know, I had was just coming off a really bad depression. Uh, I was in a city that I had never been in in that length of time. I'd been there for like on a bus trip before years ago, but staying in Atlanta by myself, uh, off to go to a conference with a bunch of strangers that I didn't know, um, you know, hoping to meet one of my idols. And I was mainly hoping to give myself a kick in the ass and to, to make me feel better and to have a little bit of fun, to perk me up, to kick my depression in the ass is really what I was hoping for. And it turns out that that trip was the best thing I could have ever had done. Best decision I made, ever. I met several friends, I did meet my idol. You know, you know he calls me a friend now. We, you know, I, it led to this channel. It led to this outlet. It's led me to talking to you guys today about what's going on. And I thought about how far I'd come from that weekend where I was just hopeful, hoping to have a little bit of fun. I was, I, I was still hopeful, but hoping to have a little bit of fun to get my mind off of things. And that weekend changed changed my life really it's it's amazing how that happened that feeling of reminding me of just where I was and I'm like I got this I know it sucks but when things are bad I'm gonna get through it you know I have great friends who are there to support me my mother my friends they're there to help me. But at the end of the day, I still got me. I am gonna be able to take care of this. And it's great to have the friends and my family, my mom, you know, my mom to, to be there for me. That's just icing on the cake because I'm the cake. I got me. And I got great friends too. I don't want I don't want it to seem like I don't appreciate them. I do appreciate them, but I've got me, <laughs> you know? And instantly, I felt better. I felt hopeful, like I was gonna kick this thing in the ass. And you know what? I did. I got a phone call for a possible new job. Um, I did get offered the job and accepted. The hours will be better, you know, it's even going to incorporate some other interests of mine. I don't want to get too much into details into it, but um, I'm extremely happy. Like, I'm really hopeful. 
I was really surprised. It, it's, it just seemed like the instant my mindset changed, my circumstances changed. I've got a new job that I'm gonna be starting here pretty soon. And I just wanted to share that with you guys because no matter what you're going through, struggles in life, we've all been there. Like I said, I've been there for the past month. Your mindset is important, but keeping hope is even more important. Things can change. You've got you in your corner. Nobody cares more about you than you, <laughs> okay? <laughs> if you care about you, you can kick so much ass in life and you can get through your adversities. And I highly recommend that if you're struggling, Talk to somebody, talk to your friends, talk to your family. If that doesn't help, then do seek some kind of professional help to help you kick your depression. You know, I got lucky that I, you know, it, it lasted longer than it should, my depression did probably. But, you know, once I remembered of how I felt before, it made me stronger and like, I got this, you know. Whatever problem is coming, I got this. I can handle it. And things worked out. So I just want to remind you guys, keep your head in the game. Sorry if this was all over the place. It's just all these thoughts and emotions and stuff were running in my head. And I, you know, feel like a sigh of relief, you know, because being stressed out over not having a job was, was ultimately stressful. That's what it was, it was like a knot, and it's just, I feel like this wave of, okay, I can breathe. So, I just wanna tell you guys, I'm rooting for you, keep your head up. You've got people that care about you, you've got you that cares about you. Keep going, and remember, you've got you, kick ass. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for this week's video. Uh, thank you for sticking with me through this story time, listening to me again. Sorry if it was a little all over the place, but I just had to get this off my chest. Sorry if I was a little vague, but I can't really divulge like too much stuff going on right now. So that's, that's why it may seem a little vague, but please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, do all the social media things, help me fight the YouTube algorithm, ring the bell. Be sure to check out the wellroundeddude.com. 215 will save you 15% off your total purchase. I thank you guys once again and can't wait to see you next week. Take care. Peace.